everybody. It's Christmas time. If you're short on a dime, I'll show you a way to make your sweetheart a nice Christmas present. All right, folks, I'm the worst hand drawer that ever lived, but there's a couple things to keep in the back of your mind, and I love the whimsical hat versus some of the little square hats that we do. Um, so I like to like it to tell a story. So we're coming up here, and the story's going to be, hey, his hat's blowing in the wind over to the left. Uh, basically, you got the head here. Uh, we'll do the nose parts later. Oh, uh, man, I always forget this part. How many balls does a snowman have, Greg? I, I think it, it's three. It's three! Ah, oh, the Wonder Women love them. All right, let's see what we can do. I got a little, little small ball at the top. We may have to do this again. Oh, we're brought, brought to you today by Powder Blue Chalk. Works excellent on wet wood, by the way. All right, so that's a little. Let me get a little even in here. Trying to BS and draw is not easy, right? A little one here. Hey, this don't got to be perfect. Actually, I can draw better with a chainsaw than I can with chalk. That doesn't make any sense, but it's the way my brain works, which is kind of scary. There we go. There we go. And then let's get this carved out, and we'll see what we got to work with. We may add some gloves, boots, things like that, or buttons for the, for the coal kind of a thing. But let's get started. This is a 100% stock saw. If you're going to try to make something at home, try to get the smallest tip bar you can. This is uh, one of the few stock saws that I have at my place. I, I pride myself on uh, checking my saws all out. Hey, a little good rule of thumb, I always just go in maybe like a quarter inch with the saw, get the overall shape down, and, and, and for me, in my mind, I can see it a lot more 3D using the saw cuts than I do just drawing it on with a pencil. So, pretty simple piece, uh, we pretty much got this going, I'm going to uh, drop the hammer and cut her out. So hey, a couple little things. Um, everything in nature usually goes away from your body. So we kind of cut this out at a slight angle. Uh, if someone's maybe not paying attention, they're gonna cut that straight. Looks a lot better as it tapers away. And that's it, every, every carving, everything we do, you know, it always tapers away from your body. It's like a diamond, gets wide and cuts back in. Hey, sometimes I use the glove, which I do like, and it's in some of our other other uh, snowmen that you see. Since this has the three balls, it's kind of hard to use the glove. It looks kind of like a funky, crazy arm. I was going to try to make that work. But we're going to scrap the, the glove idea, and we're just going to go with a really cool 
whimsical looking scarf kind of a thing coming down. Oh, I can't draw by hand. There we go. We got her now. Hey, hey, go with this line. So we're going to use our magic chalk. Oh, we're switching flavors. We're switching flavors to pink. We'll do a little pink. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. There we got her now. We're in there. there. We're in there. Let's see. Can we make this cooler looking? Always looking to make cooler. You know, we always change our mind. First plan is not usually the best plan. What can we do? We can stretch this guy out this way a hair, maybe. Anyhow, so trying to get it whimsical looking as possible. Um, you know what? Let's have a change of plan. We can erase. Right? Change of plan. His hat's going that way. I'm thinking the scarf should go that way, like he's blowing in the wind and everything's blowing that direction. So if that's the case, try to make that scarf as long as he can. I try to make that bottom as big as I can. And let's start from the bottom and work our way up this time. We'll go up like so, a little whistling around there. We'll grab this, that's going that way. This guy here, the big flary bottom. I like that better. A little more going with the top, matches. And then maybe for fun, since we've got a little bit of room down here, let's add some boots. Everybody likes little boots on their snowman. We'll get a little boot there. This guy, I'll go like so. Oh, look, there we go. A boot. Like that. Another little boot over here. What do you think? So we'll drop it down. There'll be galoshes. How about galoshes? We'll put galoshes on them. There we go. Something like that. Oh, yeah. How about we make an even up? Like I said, I'm the worst hand dryer that ever lived. All right, do better with the chainsaw. Just let me get the chainsaw in my hand. All right, we're gonna do it. This is a basic uh, 201 chainsaw with a stock bar on it. One thing I do really, really like is this 4-3 chain. It's a narrow, thin curve chain. Gives your saw more power and also finer lines. It doesn't make big rippy marks on your, on your carving. Another thing to think about, we try to keep everything flowy. Like stiff is never good. Nothing in nature is square. You know, I've been a builder my entire life. Plum level square doesn't apply to chainsaw carving. So I try to keep everything rolling, flowy, flowy, flowy the whole way through. So we've got the thing basically roughed out. We're gonna do some texturing with the saw and that'll be the next step.
Okay, so we're kind of done with the saw portion of this. Um, for the average guy at home, I, what I do is so you don't make it look like cross-eyed Mary on here is uh, put a little T in here, kind of evenly space where the eyes go, the nose. Um, the nose is going to be a three-quarter inch uh, pine or, or maple dowel rod. Now I have a special tool, it's called an eye tool. I'm going to do it with, but if you're at home and you know, you know, and you're not going to have one of these, here, here's my other little go-to, right? I have these magic black marbles, right? And you can get those online or wherever your local hobby store or whatever. Just make sure they're black because there's some that look like they're black, say they're black, but they look like uh, crazed uh, marble eyes. So this guy's a little smoky, a little tricky, but we're going to give her a shot here. Okay, time for the Knowles Ole. Three quarter inch bit. Hey, key is drill it slow. If you go whipping in there, you're gonna rip it and there's no really good way of making that look good later. So nice and easy on the snozzoli. See, no tear marks. And you could also use that die grinder or any other cool, you know, I always come back later, we're gonna clean all this up. And we're gonna talk about that next, but probably the next thing I would do Let's burn this puppy a little bit. Now it's a fresh piece. If you let it sit for like a day or so, it dries up, it burns a lot easy. Er, um, but everything we do, we kind of burn around here, get rid of all the fuzzies. So look, if you burn this dark, when you put a clear finish over it, it's going to get even darker. So lighter is your best friend, okay? So we're going to make this guy all natural. Now, if you like the red scarves, it's just a red rattle can and we use a clear outdoor finish which is min waxes spar urethane so when you do the little burn see how it kind of makes the grain stand out now in the cracks i go a little deeper to make that crack look even more more defined Okay, so this is a cool little tool it's like a nylon takes the place of a wire wheel and what it does is it kind of blows all this stuff together uh, also it kind of takes all the heavy heavy off I hit it real fast with this guy right that's one way that kind of blends all that together you can also use like a scrub brush this is just faster then you also have the option of cleaning your carving up with it so this basically has a grid on it and that's kind of like floppy sanding it. See how it gets rid of all those marks real nice, quiet, right? It kind of flows everything together. Now me, I, I retexture this normally with a chainsaw. But here's, you know, one way to get in all the, see how it gets in all the cracks really, really nice, okay? So that's one way. And the big thing, get that face nice. Everybody's eyes go to the face. So this guy. I guess the safety glasses work better if they're uh, over your eyes, huh?
and this is going to work a lot better with the grinder part um, and this is basically a little wheel that you can get at any hardware store um, normally you know this is this is not uh, super gritty this is like an 80 grit on here a lot of times we use 36 for something heavy but this is a smoother carving so that's a good way to get rid of your little saw marks and just keep your hands light I love this DeWalt tool made in America because I go way out of my way to buy American stuff Okay, folks, we're down to the nitty gritty. So, um, another cool cordless tool. Um, and cordless tools aren't what they used to be. They're uh, they replace anything. They're they're awesome. I can't say enough about uh, how good they are. You wouldn't think that would work nice, but look, I can walk around no cord. Once you go no cord, you'll never go back. <laughs> So basically what I'm trying to do with this guy, get rid of any of the sharp edges on any little point, want everything to kind of be flowy. And, and this is a chainsaw carving. This isn't uh, fine cabinetry. So, um, you know, keep a little saw mark in there, here and there, and everybody knows you made it by hand. <laughs> about to seal the deal with this puppy nose three quarter inch style rod hey that grinder I had I just ground that with that grinder that goes right in there and I'm gonna grab the finished carving we're gonna talk about them eyes real quick hey if you like the way I did it with the the eye tool plopping these two little dots in the eyes sweetens it up a little bit I actually flared this one make the little corners in your eyes but uh, I usually put the bigger dot in the middle two o'clock two o'clock with the second dot uh, and it just makes them more cute, cuddly, friendly looking, all those kind of things. So hey, this is where you got in your finished product. I'm going to show you the, the finish we put on here. But, you know, this is a long and short of it. It's basically common sense from here on in. But I'll show you the finish we're using. Hey, this is Minwax's Helmsman. You can get this actually at Sherwin-Williams and at Lowe's. I think Home Depot quit carrying it. Um, hey, thanks to California, the VOC thing. It um, doesn't work as good as it used to, so we thin it out a little bit. I usually put about three coats in. So when I say thin it, I would thin it to about uh, 10 or 15% and it flows a lot better. So whenever they made the VOC changes, it's kind of stickier and doesn't flow quite as nice on smooth stuff. You don't really notice it on a thick carving, but on anything flat and smooth, I like to thin it out. About three coats will get it. And then maybe every couple of years, you can tell kind of how it's weathering. Give a little scuff and, and, and bang another coat on it. Hey, there's a reason women love snowmen. They're happy to see you when you come home from work. They're really cute, and they never complain. Merry Christmas, everybody.